Hey guys, what is up? Last of our asbestos here. And today I'm going to do a review on the um, the M48 and IHADS combination. So um, before I get into this, it's going to be a bit of a long review. So, you know, get comfortable because, you know, a lot of history on both of these items. So without further ado, let me get into that. So... Again, this is the M48 and IHADS combination, each going to be reviewed separately. Um, so first, I will cover the history of the IHADS helmet. In 1985, the U.S. Army fielded the AH-64 Apache, and with it, the integrated helmet and display sighting system, IHADS, a new helmet concept, in which the role of the helmet was expanded to provide a visually coupled interface between the aviator and the aircraft. The Honeywell M142 IHADS is fitted with a 40 degree by 30 degree field of view, video with symbology, monocular display, IR emitters allow a um, slewable thermographic camera sensor mounted on the nose of the aircraft to be slave to the aviator's head movements. The display also enables nap of the earth, night navigation. IHADS is also used on the Italian Agosa A129 um, Mangusta. And as for a little bit on the HMD itself, this is something that would have typically utilized a compact CRD embedded in the helmet itself, as well as suitable, suitable optics to display symbology on the pilot's visor or reticle focused at infinity. Modern HMDs have dispensed with the CRT in favor of micro displays such as liquid crystal on silicone, LCOS, or liquid crystal display, LCD, along with an LED illuminator to generate the displayed image. Advanced HMDs can project FLIR or NVG imagery. A recent improvement is the capability to display color symbols and video. So now onto the M48 itself. The mask was one of the early beginning variants of the JSAM program, also standing for Joint Service Aircrew Mask. These were designed by MSA for AH-64 Apache aircrew pilots as a replacement design to the M43 series. The M43 was commonly seen and characterized with a long green rubber nylon hose along a proprietary blower unit connector. The connector seats in the middle of the blower unit, housing two C2A1s, or for the XM43 being a black Canadian contract green stamped C2. The M43 connector piece was also compatible with the M45 Land Warrior blowers and seen rarely in the early development of the mask. The M48, on the other hand, replaced the M43 due to the compatibility with a C420 blower, which was more compact and didn't require the unit to be plugged directly into the AH-64. The current one I'm showing here is missing the 40mm connector to demonstrate with a C420. However, there are photos of these with the proper blowers that have been archived. Another interesting feature that I must mention about the about this is the notches and the lenses. This would have been um, for the compatibility with the IHADS HMD. Same goes for the notch and the tinted visor. As you can see here. So, you know, um, this is fully compatible with IHADS. So the notch there is where the um, HMD would cover. And then the, um, yeah, like the notch right there is also, so um, didn't get in the way of the tinted visor. And also I want to give some credit to Retro Respirators for allowing me to own his prior IHADS helmet and the amazing chance to review this item here. 
So um, thank you again for that. And also going to do a quick uh, 360 on this just to give you guys a better um, understanding of the way this looks from a visual aspect. So anyways, um, don't believe I have anything else for this review. So um, thank you guys for watching. I hope this was informative as far as the history on both of these items. And I will talk to you all later.